The fruit of Grecia. The fruit of Grecia. The fruit of Grecia. All right then. On with the review. The Fruit of Grisaia is a 13-episode anime series based off a 2011 visual novel by Front Wing. And we all know how those turn out, right? That was a happy coincidence. As per usual with these kinds of shows, we follow the main character who is a guy who becomes the heartthrob of multiple girls who are all spanning the five big visual novel personalities. Cold-hearted, sporadic, robotic, horny, and... The main character, a term I use loosely in this case, is a guy named Kazumi Yuji. His quiet and cold demeanor is used to make us believe that he's a complete badass, when in all actuality it's only there to distract us from the fact that he has NO PERSONALITY WHATSOEVER! He's a former assassin guy who chooses to transfer to this remote school designed to hold the people of most importance in the world and MAYBE experience a normal life. And there, in the heart of the school, he finally comes across the people that would become his future fuck buddies! Mm. I mean, mateable class friends! Mm. Dateable classmates? <laughs> Got it. They're all girls, each with their own tragic past that in one way or another gets resolved simply by Yuji being in their life. And from here, we run into the most disappointing part of any poorly made anime adaptation of a visual novel. A majority of these episodes are now spent teaching us who these girls are and getting us to know who they are, which means we get about eight to nine episodes of character introductions, and then about three to four episodes of actual plot progression of any kind. And some of these introductions are done really well, but others are done so poorly and rushed that the disappointment has a tendency to completely overshadow the good. Thankfully, the majority of the girls in The Fruit of Grisaia have decent enough backstories, and we even eventually get a tiny piece of Yuji's backstory that gives us something to actually give a damn about with him. The animation of the show was surprisingly decent, with its style being filled with a lot of color, but at the same time, keeping an overarching darkness to it. However, while that was a really neat trick that they managed to pull, the darker tones of the show led me to believe that the show's plot itself would end up being a lot darker than it actually became, so I was a little disappointed there. The character designs were all pretty good, I was especially fond of the outfits of all the girls and how vibrant they were, and while the girls themselves were the typical color-coded redhead, blonde, brunette, dark-haired girls we've come to get familiar with in the visual novel form, Format, they weren't so blatantly stereotyped to cause much of a distraction. And the backdrops in many of the scenes were sometimes pretty outstanding to see, ranging from the school's private park to a cliff overlooking the ocean, and even to a cabin deep within a forested mountain range. The final verdict. I felt like my time wasn't wasted with the Fruit of Grisaia, which is something nice to say, especially when talking about an adaptation of a visual novel. That being said, if you hear the premise of this anime and have the initial feeling of MY GOD THAT LOOKS STUPID, it's not gonna change your mind. I'm pretty sure that most people, at least people who aren't as forgivingly open to just about everything like I am, will call this anime mediocre at best. And there is a good handful of fan service in this, and some occasional man service for you ladies out there, that will put some people off however, so... As for using this show to bring in a non-anime viewer, I'd probably recommend something else. Yeah, like that! Thank you everybody for watching my video. If you liked it, please do not hesitate to leave a comment, share the video, maybe even give it a like, and you can also head over to my Tumblr and Twitter accounts where I constantly keep in contact with the people who try to talk to me there. Let me know if you have any recommendations of anime or video games that you want me to check out, and I will likely go find them. Thanks again, you're all very awesome. Good. Roll the review. Hit the back of my chair. No personality what- I hit the mic. No oh, shit! <laughs> I hurt my leg. Ah! Oh, carpet burn like you wouldn't believe.